The, the feeling of me touching a worm and then, you know, have to sayang the worms, oh, it just frightened me. <laughs> and now we're just used to it. Now we can, we can shower with them. Yeah. Shower with yeah, them? Just shower. <laughs> It was only when I came to Tiong Lam that I realised that there was really a lot of food waste being discarded every single day and no one was doing anything about it. It became a norm in the food industry that it was a very linear economy. My father-in-law, he did some help with the business and he felt like you know some new blood would be good to revamp this uh, very traditional business. The company is Tiong Lam. We started to sell the main bowl and the past main bowl. Then we sent it to Yi Ya to sell it. One thing that I see very much in relation to what he does in his business is that in his normal life, you know, when we go out for dinners with him, he would order just nice what everyone can finish. And if there was anything left over, no matter how little, he would still take it away. My uncle actually started from collecting excess bread waste from bread manufacturing companies. So he was only dealing with the bread. Uh, then he slowly branches out to other food waste as well, like bread, biscuit flour, milk powders and so on. But mostly are uh, dried products because they are more durable, as in you are able to keep them for a while. He's not able to deal with uh, waste like this, a bit of moisture or wet food waste. There's a lot of other waste that we couldn't, we couldn't deal with. The, the wet waste, the waste that's very perishable. I actually branched out, did quite a bit of research to see if there was any way that we could valorise that kind of waste. The one that I came across that was really useful, that could really do something, have an impact, was black soldier flies. It's a real circular economy over there. They can basically eat anything, yeah, all kinds of food waste. The DBSS grant is coming in a really uh, opportune time. The idea was extremely interesting, is extremely sustainable. Nothing over here is being wasted. So on the very first stage, uh, it would be the grinding, the fermentation of food waste. And uh, once that is done, uh, we put all this waste into these buckets over here. These are already very big and ready larvae to send to our clients, or our customers. These are my babies, I call them my babies. The size is really depending on what the client really, really wants. Um, depending on whether it's ornament fishes or is it for, for, for breeding of food-wise fish. It is not just um, a feed to the fishes, um, the chickens and uh, to the animal as an animal feed. I would say besides that as an animal feed, they are actually helping our food waste in Singapore, bringing down the amount of food waste, which is what, 700,000 tonnes of food waste in a year, uh, based on 2019. Because of capitalism, this kind of waste will only get more and more. And these little soldiers over here are trying their very best to help cook this. So one kg of uh, lavas, right? Uh, they are able to eat 1.5 tonnes of waste and that will turn them into 300 kg of animal feeds. We are able to utilise the DBSS fund uh, to, to do those, those different rounds of testing to make sure that everything goes right. The DBSF grant it increases the efficiency at which we can do this by, uh, by a lot. Initially, we were slated to try and you know, start moving on commercially maybe within the next two years. But I think right now, we can confidently say that we can do it within a year to actually make this uh, more viable and collect you know, commercial amounts of food waste. I like the fact that I'm actually doing something that's more meaningful yeah, something that helps the, the environment, not just selling a product. I really want to make this uh, the number one or, or, or one of the biggest in Southeast Asia. I guess um, our big dream actually comes from a phrase by Margaret Mead. So what she said was, um, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can make a change. My if this business expands, it will fill my uncle up with a lot of manzukan.